Hello. Today I'm going to demonstrate to you how to make a winter feed for the bees in your colony. This one kilogram margarine tub contains about half filled with custard granulated sugar. It's mixed with enough hot water from the kettle to make it this sort of consistency. This is still quite warm and that's why it's a bit runny, but as it cools down it will become more gloopy. I used to make the winter feed from white fondant. This 12.5 kilogram pack of white fondant costs 13 pounds, but if you make it from ordinary granulated sugar and hot water, it's very, very much cheaper, just costs pennies. If you contact a sugar supplier and ask them if they have any damaged sugar bags, they will sell that to you at a very much reduced rate because the sugar contained within those bags is considered to be unfit for human consumption. So you get it at a very much cheaper rate. That concludes that part of the demonstration. I'm now going to go on to show you how to make an oxalic acid solution to treat your bees hive for Varroa. This tub of oxalic acid tablets contains 101 gram tablets. At January 2012 it cost five pounds. The instructions as to how to make up the oxalic acid solution are contained within the jar and they are quite explicit. You must follow them very carefully. You will need five millilitres of oxalic acid solution to treat each seam of bees. In this jar I've got a 50-50 solution of water and sugar. You add the oxalic acid tablet to the solution as prescribed within this jar. The other items of equipment you will need is a syringe. This syringe actually has quite a short nozzle and we've extended it with the use of a short plastic tube. This kind of tube you will probably find on the side of the disposable fruit juice drink packets, um, those small ones that you can buy in supermarkets. This is very useful because it enables you to get the syringe into the jar easily and you draw up as much as is necessary for your hive. For the, for the purposes of demonstration we're going to assume that you've got a seven seam colony in your hive and you need five millilitres of oxalic acid solution per seam so you would draw up 35 millilitres of solution to apply to, to the um, seams. When you go to the apiary, if you also take um, one of these drinks bottles with water in it, you will find it very useful. Because it has this type of nozzle and you can squeeze the water out quickly and easily, if you were to spill any of the oxalic acid solution anywhere else on the hive or on yourself, you can squirt the water onto that um, place and it will immediately dilute it and then the oxalic acid will, will be ineffective. This jar is the most, is the safest means of keeping oxalic acid in your home. It's um, sealed and, and it's very convenient to keep it in this sort of size. We're now going to go to the apiary to show you how to apply the oxalic acid and also the winter feed to your hive. See you later. We're now down at the apiary and I'm going to show you how to do uh, oxalic acid treatment. Um, it's actually got a sunny day and I've actually done my oxalic treatment but I'll show you how it's done and then you can uh, see. The black plastic that you can see around this hive here, in fact you should be able to see the bees going in and out. Um, this is to protect woodpecker damage. Um, it doesn't suffer with condensation in the way, it's quite good. Um, it's loosely, um, loosely wrapped round, tucked underneath the uh, Uh, woodpecker guard and I haven't had any trouble 
And the woodpeckers found my hives about two or three years ago. And of course they come back every winter. Ease that off. take the top off and we'll carry on and go under the oxalic acid treatment next if I can uh, get all the parts off. We'll stack these on the roof. These bees are down in the bottom, uh, in the bottom box. Let's have a look see if they're reasonably calm. I haven't put any smoke on them. See how we get on. Shall I come in closer? Yeah, come in closer. I've, um, I've fed these with uh, with fondant, and this is cling film, which I put on just to stop stop it dropping down in between the. Uh, they may get a bit touchy when you're doing this. We'll see. Now what I do with the oxalic acid, we do 5 millilitres per seam. And of course some of the bees are out today and I've only got 1, 2, 3, maybe 4 seams of bees. I think I've got probably more than that. but I'll, um, So with 4 seams of bees it's 5 millilitres per seam. 5 millilitres times 4 is 20 millilitres and what I do this is the this is the sugar solution mixed with some a couple of oxalic acid tablets that's all in part of the instructions of uh, the ratio that you do but well, you have to work that out but it's fairly simple to do so I push the syringe right down to the bottom Let's move it a couple of times free it up a bit and I uh, see them buzzing around me a bit but they're quite uh, quite happy and I'll pull it up to 20 millilitres. Now this is just actually sugar solution today because I've already treated them. You can't treat them twice. Uh, we'll just pull some of this plastic off because they've got a built burr comb on it. And what you do then is just, you've got 20 mil, you do 5 mil. And all I'm doing is putting a bit of sugar solution in fact, but this would be oh, oxalic acid normally. And you do that four times. You can't go wrong because you've only got 20 milli, milli, millilitres in the syringe, so you can't overdose. And that's all there is to it. It takes almost seconds really, so very easy to do. The bees are quite calm today. I'll check whether they need feeding in a minute, but uh, that's really all I need to say.